Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. I just wanted to say, if you're not a big fan of killing insects, go ahead and turn this video off now and go on to a different video because we're gonna have to kill some insects in this video. Now, they're mean insects, they're wasps, but some people are a little bit squeamish about that. And you know, if you have kids that are allergic to things like that, it could be a matter of life and death. These aren't wasps that are just out in the woods. These are wasps that are like living in my house or near my house, I should say. So don't thumbs down this video just because I'm killing some wasps that are right outside my back door. Please don't do that. Just go on to the next video, okay? Without further ado, let's start the video. So I've always had an issue with buying wasp spray. It's so expensive. It's like, this could be up towards of four, five, six dollars a can and you don't get a whole lot of usage out of a can of wasp spray like this. It's very effective. It kills wasps and other, you know, hornets, yellow jackets really quickly. But it's just so expensive and it's also really toxic. Uh, you get it in your face or you breathe up some of the particles in, it cannot be good for you. And I'm sure it causes like three different forms of cancer by doing that. So I found this amazing solution. But first, before I talk about it, let me give you a little bit of backstory. I was walking through my backyard the other day and I was wearing flip-flops. As I was walking through the backyard, I must have stepped in a yellow jacket hole, but I, I stepped on what I thought was a nail going through my foot. It was so excruciatingly painful, just one sting of a yellow jacket. It was throbbing for like six to eight hours after the initial sting. It was very painful. So I had to go out that night and I had to find the hole as they're sleeping down on the ground. And um, I used a little home remedy. I did not use this stuff right here because this stuff cost an arm and a leg per can. Let me give you a little glimpse of what I, kind of the solution that I found, a much cheaper way to kill wasps, hornets, yellow jackets, even cockroaches, fire ants, you name it. This, this solution will actually kill them. So let me take you over to the table and I'll show you. So the other really dangerous thing, if you have young kids like I do, I mean, look at this nozzle right here on this, on this wasp spray. Ow, something's biting me. What is that? Ow. Something just bit me. But like, there is nothing special about this. All the kid has to do is like pop the lid off and then they have access to this nozzle right here. So it's like really, really dangerous if you have a toddler or something. I mean, that stuff like shoots out and it shoots far. That would really mess up their face if they happen to be walking by like that. No, no, watch So again, if you're tired of buying this really expensive stuff, I found a solution that actually works way better and is significantly cheaper. Let me show you how you do it. You get yourself, uh, I don't know, like a $10, $20 pump sprayer. This one was a little bit higher in because I use it quite a bit. It's about $20 at Lowe's. Just open it up. Nothing super special about this. The other thing about this uh, solution is it kills wasps and roaches and fire ants and those kinds of insects actually way faster than the wasp spray. You wouldn't think that's even possible, but trust me, it does. So what I do is I take Dawn dish soap. It has to be like degreasing dish soap. Uh, you can get like generic brand, like from Walmart or from some kind of dollar store. You don't have to buy like name brand, okay? I just, I just have this laying around the house. And uh, do you see how much is in here now? I'm just gonna kind of eyeball this, okay? I'm a dude, I'm not gonna measure it out, okay? But I'm gonna basically put about that much in there. About half of the contents of this bottle are gonna go into here, okay? So watch me. Supposedly the chemicals inside here, like the glycerin, I guess, inside the soap, actually clogs up the insect spiracles to where they can't breathe and they die almost instantly. Okay, see how much I use there? I don't know how much that is. I don't care, it'll work. Just want a good, you want a good amount of this because it's cheap and you know this is like I don't know a buck fifty two dollars at a dollar store whereas this right here is like five dollars so with that much soap and I could probably make five more batches of you know pump sprayers what is this like two gallons for like I don't know two dollars you could do that significantly cheaper okay the next step in our concoction is just some plain old tap water not hot not cold don't get fancy pour this water in here Perfect, perfect. All right, put your cap on.
tighten her down. All right, now you see it's kind of like pink in there, right? Slosh it around a little bit, get it mixed up real good. So you want a good, good amount of soap. Now, with the amount of uh, soap that I squirt in here, I could fill this thing up to the top and have a lot more. I just didn't have a water hose out here, so I, the only thing I had at my disposal was this little can, so that's the amount of water that I could put in here. But I could go ahead with a hose and top this off. I might as well do that before I go uh, take out the wasp nest that I was telling you about. Now again, if you don't like killing insects for some reason, like wasp, for instance, around uh, your house or whatever, then go ahead and turn this video off, okay? Don't thumbs down this video just because, um, you know, I'm killing a wasp. Don't be like hating on me because I'm killing a wasp that's right outside my house. This is a wasp that is like right next to where my young kids walk and play all the time. So I've got to deal with it. If this was a wasp nest that was out in the woods somewhere, I wouldn't worry about it, okay? I, I love animals. I love insects. I love nature. I'm not going to kill, I just go in and arbitrarily kill a wasp nest that's not in, you know, in, in threat of like stinging one of my kids. So, again, don't thumbs down this video. If you want to turn it off because I'm killing a bunch of wasps, then turn it off. But if you want to keep watching and see how this stuff works, then keep watching. Whereas this stuff is completely safe for your kid's face. You know, let me wash all the blood off your face. Okay, that should be good. All right, thanks. Sorry about that. Okay, here are the culprits up under a deck. And they're just big old brown wasps. They have a really painful sting. It's right by where, right next to where my kids walk over and over all day long. So unfortunately, they're gonna have to go. I'm gonna hand the camera over to Noah and see if you guys can uh, watch me spray him down. Okay, come out here, Noah, and film him. Here. Come out here. Okay, they're, they're still moving around. Let me see the camera. Okay. They're still struggling a little bit, but as you can see, they're pretty much goners. And they're just kind of spazzing some. There's one right there looking for... So it's, you see a stinger moving around looking for something to sting. It's pretty much instantaneous. Um, you know, they don't suffer and stuff like that. Like This one's already gone. So I don't know if you can see that or not, but what happens is, uh, like I said, the glycerin just kind of coats them to where they can't breathe. And uh, they just die really rapidly. So I just killed, uh, I don't know, there's one there and all the bubbles. Two, three, four, maybe five wasps. Yeah, there's five. Six, six wasps. Just a you know a few seconds of soapy water, just took them all out that fast. It's a way cheaper option than uh than buying those cans of wasp spray, and way better for the environment too. But there's the old nest. So I'll go ahead and knock that thing down. There might be one hanging on there. No, there's not. There's a close up of one of them. I wanted to let you guys see kind of what happens on an anatomical level. You see those like, you see how there's like soap suds kind of dried around their body? And that's what actually, those suds actually clog up their, their spiracles, their lungs. That's what makes them die so quickly. So again, with some soapy water, some dish soap, and some water, a pump sprayer, you can ethically kill dangerous insects for way cheaper. So, all right, well thanks guys for watching. Hey again, if you don't like me killing insects, do me a favor, just don't watch these videos anymore. Just don't watch my channel anymore. It won't hurt my feelings. Just don't thumbs down this video. Don't put any hurtful comments or hateful comments. I gotta do what I gotta do. Again, I love nature. I love animals and insects, and I only kill them when I absolutely think it's necessary, okay? So thanks guys for watching. If I deserve it, give this video a thumbs up. Be sure to subscribe. Stay tuned for more videos like it. See ya. Oh my gosh, Noah, are you okay?